that was the Neverton Tunnel. Good morning, one and all, one and all, and we are at the airport. It's uh, actually just check the time. It is uh, eight o'clock, eight o'clock in the morning. Brendan's up, which is quite surprising, but you know, because he does like a lion, that boy does. But I was up before you, I'll have you know. Uh, you were, I was up, but yeah, I bet he was. So, what you're looking at here is a field. It, to be honest with you, now it looks like it looks like it looks like the uh, the rice fields of Cambodia or somewhere, doesn't it? <laughs> with it being so flooded. Anyway, um, this is a disused World War II airfield. Now, these airfields were placed in locations where they could actually provide the best amount of. Um, you know protection against any kind of invasion um so this was a perfect location for south wales anyway um as we know up in anglesey we've got um ref valley but this is long since gone and brendan said should we come this way if we come this way would this be better yeah, apart from it being flooded yeah look at him now this ain't a great idea Look at it. Should we go back the other way? Uh, yeah. Come on then. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I haven't got any digital image stabilisation today on this phone, unfortunately. It'll look more raw. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So no, 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 uh, no one's my pocket because the SD card's full. So Bren suggested I do it on my phone. We'll see how that works out. So just down here now on the right hand side, um, is the runway itself um, as we come down and this has not been used this is uh, there's a few sort of um, hangars and stuff left here but other than that there's nothing nothing really left here but a lot of these airfields especially places like Long Marsden and places like that are all been sold off to developers now um, Woodford in Woodford Aerodrome over in uh, Cheshire that's been sold off as well um, to developers but this one is pretty much gone unscathed but anyway you can see how these runways are constructed and they're constructed with um, like a like a concrete pour they're almost like squares as you can see and they're all poured and then there's a joint, jointing compound between them so now we're just coming up to the runway now. There you go. That is just incredible. I mean, you just take a moment just to take that in. You know, what has this actually seen? So each of these concrete sections were cast individually and then there was a sort of compound, joining compound between them, like a, like, like a sort of tar solution. Um, and we're coming up to now where the rumps, the first section of the runway, because the runway is in a big A shape. So you can see here where the two sections of runway actually join up here. So you'd have one, this would have been the main runway, which would have been more than likely for taking off. Then you'd have a shorter runway for um, actually coming back in, which would have more than likely have been this one here, as you can see. And that goes across there, as you can see. RAF St David's was opened in the autumn of 1943 and it was classed as an RAF coastal command base. Many bombers were seen leaving and coming in from this location such as Halifax bombers, Liberators and Fortresses. The advantage of this airfield is that it sat right on the edge of the South Wales coast and it enabled it to be a perfect location for battles and one battle in particular was the Battle of the Atlantic. Later this location was used by the Royal Navy and then by the mid 1990s 
it was surplus to requirements like a lot of other airfields in the UK. And it was bought by the um, National Parks and it became an SSSI, a site of special scientific interest um, and that's how it is now, a great location for wildlife and habitats. Well, there you go, guys. Well, Brendan is here trying to find the local public convenience. We are walking back off the airfield now. Um, and uh, yeah, what a, what a place. Um, very thought provoking when you see ex-military um, sites and things like that, knowing what's happened here and you know, um, but you know, I mean, it, you know, We've taken the risk coming in here, so you guys don't have to. Stopped at Swagaswagi Squashy Beach, and um, yeah, we're gonna have a little look. We did see it coming down. It looked quite, quite spectacular, with the little islands and outcrops of rock and stuff. You can't not look at him, not a bit. Line. <laughs> yeah, what a spot! We don't even know where we are, do we? I think it's called uh, New Gale. New Dale. New Gale. New Gale. New Gale. I think. Was that on your list to visit? No. No, I just That's what they were on about in the thing, they were on about New Gale, weren't they? In the chocolate shop of where to park. Oh, were New they? Gale, yes. Oh, okay. That's so what it, said. I can. I like Maybe. where we were. I don't know. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. I need some pebbles from my garden, you know. Are you think you're allowed to take them? You won't be shorter than me, mate. Hell. This reminds me of walking around the uh, the rocks of Lady Bower Reservoir and I nearly fell on my arse. Yes, we're on the beach. Ah. Oh. It does feel like Steve's Monumental Adventure North Wales Special when I'm filming the whole, I'm filming an entire series on the coast of North Wales in this kind of weather. You know what this calls for? What? Oh, we're, we're all going, going on a summer holiday. No more worries for a week or two. two. Sun and laughter on a summer holiday. Honey, what do we do, do <laughs> for a week or two? Oh. We're going where the sun's not shining. Still We're going. going where it's raining all the time. <laughs> but it's all about the company. Brendan and Steve. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. New Gale Beach. Well guys, we have now stopped. We are in Pembroke, in Pembrokeshire. I don't even know if this is the high street, but what I do know is this has got the longest one-way system I've ever seen. Anyway, you can see Pembroke Castle just over there, look. Just in the distance. We're parked up here. We've checked the sign. It says one hour. So there you go. Lovely jubbly. And then we're gonna have a walk up to the castle. There we go. Pembroke Castle. There you go. And look at this, right next door is an old drill hole look. But look at the place. Wow, it's got a very Warwick Castle kind of vibe about it, look. Yes, yeah, very Warwick Castle. Big green in front of it. There we go. Oh, I bet you love my shaky footage. 
Look at that. Brendan, look at that. His priority right now is going for a poo. <laughs> Yeah, it's got, like I say, it's got a Warwick Castle vibe about it. I don't know Warwick, if any of you is. You've never been there? No. Look, there's loads of high places to walk along, look. So you like heights, don't you, Brendan? Oh, I do love a height, mate, yeah. Look at that. But got blue sky now, I look like at it. I like heights a lot more when I've relieved myself. Look at him, now look at him. Now I need to go to the toilet. He's so wrong, look at him. His prime priority, he comes into a splendid castle, he's in his prime to just get a... <laughs> is, I can't wait, I've got to get a poo. Only Brendan can have a poo in the Northgate Tower. Can you imagine if they've gone like really authentic and it's like really a throne. traditional but it's just it? a hole? Yeah. <laughs> we saw dust in it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, hurry up because I need to get some jousting done. Okay. There you go. Well, Brendan's gone to the toilet and the castle happens. There's nice sort of blue sky sort of appeared now. Oh yeah, lots of nice staircases for me to bang my head on. I mean, how tall is that? I mean, honestly, look at my... You only have to... Let me just uh, sort of swing you around. Look at that. I mean, that's actually to my shoulder blade, that is, look. How, how small were these people? So let's start our journey of Brendan's uh, special Pembrokeshire journey. So I came across, we went to Shrewsbury, as you can see. Then we came across, okay, and we came to Aberystwyth, you see it, okay, then we travelled down the coast, okay, straight down here to Kilgarran Castle, we've come along. To St David's and then across to Pembroke okay there we go and God knows where he's going to be taking us next but I guess it's over this back over this actually when you look at it it realize how far you away from home but this does map all of the castles out in the in the area I won't tell Brenton about this I'll let it be my little thing how we enter the North Tower first? On, Mind your head though. Actually, you've got that wrong. What? It's called the North Gate. North Gate Tower. Get it right. Mind your head. I mean, honestly, look at the height difference there between me. That'd take my face off. Anyway, here, I've got a nice spiral staircase here, look. Oh, God. It's a lovely window. It's got no, water, no glass in them. Uh, well. So level number one, what we got here? Were they particularly small back in those times? Oh yeah, yeah, height is just when people like me came along. Look at this. Although the roof is authentically concrete, <laughs> unauthentically. <laughs> just highlight, when you look out that window, you see the sun shining, yeah. everything just looks better with the sun, doesn't it? Yeah. And all this trip, we have had no sun. We've no. had grey skies, we've had torrential rain showers. <laughs> Look how lucky we are now. All right, let's go up here then. Is this a door? Is it the door to know? It's a glass. It's glass. It's a nothing. It's a nothing door. It's you a tour. You, I want you to come up here because... You've just gone in there and had a luxury one. Yeah. Have a look up there, mate. There's a the first class that? one. Is that like a Come on. Let's have a look, mate. And you used to literally drop down to the floor into the moat. See it? Oh god, yeah. <laughs> wow. But at least you can have a you at least you can have a crap with a view. <laughs> yeah. Know what I mean? Another little Oh, so I see, we've got another... Ah, oh, that's that concrete floor then. Look, I'm an... Or I like authenticity. And to put a stone floor on here would not have been a hard job. Glorious sunshine. Oh, we're going to go to the top of this. For some reason, I have the urge to shout, You'll never take our freedom! 
Look at that. What river's that then? Oh, that's the river, the, 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 the river, river Pembroke. Pembroke, yeah. The river Pembroke, yeah. That well-known river. It's always got to have a river, hasn't it? Just coming into another tower. Oh, I'll tell you what. Oh, projector that thing. Oh. Palaces and gunpowder were making fortifications like this old fashioned in the Tudor age. Oh, it's a lovely wedge boy. Oh. Oh. Oh, doesn't this remind you of uh, Travel Lodge? Shrewsbury, no. the main corridor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What would this be then? Just like, a, like, a, like an escape tunnel through the well, other parts of the castle? You'd think there'd be quarters off here, wouldn't you? Look at the vaulted ceiling as well. Like a spray concrete. You know what, if you're claustrophobic. Yeah. Oh, I'm Please take your throne. <laughs> I turned around. I just expected him to be sat there. Are you a queen? Is this the queen's throne? <laughs> yeah. Right now. I'm the queen. <laughs> I'm the king. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite funny, isn't it? I mean, obviously, this would have been looked a lot nicer. It would be a nice plaster on the wall. It would look beautiful. Chandeliers hanging down and what have you. Like, do, you do you feel quite regal? No, it's a very uncomfortable chair. <laughs> I mean, there's no padding on it at all. But then they were used to riding around on horses, weren't they? Yeah, that's true. You know, yeah. but no, you just sort of think about the history. You know, it's it's hard to fathom, isn't it, of what went on in here? This, this is what was talked about. You know, this little parlour area. Mm. Yeah. Arise, Sir Brendan. Are you ready to be knighted with my special sword? So what's he saying to him? He's got the knife, she's got the bowl. So she's saying, here, he's going, look, don't give her anything, right? And she's going, please, let me have something. No, <laughs> come on, let me have something. Just share me a little bit. You've got your own up there. Naff off. It's not your it's not my fault you're a vegetarian. <laughs> and that piper can piss off. <laughs> I mean you can't concentrate. You can't he's saying we can't have a conversation. I'll tell you something though, this guy, I mean she's she's stopping him from lamping her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Derek! Is that a woman? I don't know. I don't and know. I'm thinking I don't know. I'm thinking you can't get, he, he can't hear himself speak because of that piper in the background. You don't need that while you're eating, do you? He's definitely angry though. He's got a knife in his hand. He's ready to kill. Yeah, I mean, you'd have a knife hand in my steer, yeah? Well, we're going to have a role play here. Yeah. So, uh, I'll do the voice of me, you can talk to my dad, right? Yeah. Okay. Look, Dad, I don't want to go and back out the chickens. Boy, that's what you're destined to do. Well, I've decided. I think I want a career change. I want to be an influencer. An influencer? An influencer? What on earth is an influencer? It's a knob. <laughs> is it? So where do you find these influencers? Do you have to go away far? That's <laughs> exactly you why you're getting into character there, isn't you? <laughs> well, I have to travel a skip and a hop, and then I'll soon be in Los Angeles, and then everyone calls themselves influencers there, papa. Are you talking about America? <laughs> little, uh, yeah. America? You know what American people are like. You should stay here and work within the family business. Chickens are our life and they always will be. Oh, give me that shovel then. <laughs> That's my boy. Here, there's an extra dump today. And don't break those eggs on the way back. There has been a castle on this site since the 1100s and the existing castle was a timber fortress with palisades. It was Aldolf of Montgomery that decided to build the new Pembroke Castle you see today. And it's a grade one listed building and 
its commanding views of the surrounding countryside really does give it a real status within the town of Pembroke. we go a quick look around Pembroke Castle um, I mean this you probably need a good few hours here really to, have a, to really appreciate it um, but I think I'll put it on my list to come back to uh, have a real good sort of look around all right so we're gonna head towards the entrance now and head to a little place called Tenby well, I think me and Brendan have had a difference of opinion on the on we've come to Tenby and to where Brendan wanted to park, it's literally two pound for two hours. Four pound for two hours. That makes it a pound, that makes it doesn't it? That's two pound per hour, doesn't it? Okay, which is quite a lot of money. Anyway, I found one here which is four pounds for four hours, which works out at a pound an hour. So that actually isn't um, that actually isn't that actually isn't too bad actually, um, and I am going to rush in that two hours to get back. But I really resent paying. I would for not. I'd rather not visit somewhere than pay hiked up parking prices. To be perfectly honest with you, um, and that's exactly what I feel like I've I've done here. But. This is Brendan's trip, so I appreciate that. I would have literally steered, I would have drove straight back out of here. You want to encourage tourists, a council, then you've got to be fair, haven't you? Fair is all you can be with parking. Anyway, I'm off to uh, meet Brendan now. So if you look, guys, that's what that's what I didn't want to pay that two hours. I think it's just a lot of money for just two hours parking, but it's a private car park, and we've got to bear that in mind. Um, and it's 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 uh, it's managed by Bert and Co. So I'm assuming this guy who's checking the vehicles that's Bert himself. I'll tell you a little story about Bert over there that I spotted him doing. He was ticketing a car up there, but he was writing the ticket out on top of their bonnet. How would you fancy that when he's put him, you know, writing out writing out a ticket on your bonnet? That's what he was doing. So we're now walking down towards the beach to. Um, and, and Tenby Castle is to the side of us and uh, there is so much resident permit parking here unreal hey guys if you've made it this far then obviously you've put up with that shocking video quality it was filmed on my mobile phone obviously the next video will be back to normal you can see guys it's, it's quite busy here so like a lot of the other little seaside towns um, around here are all quite quiet this time of year but not here not Tembi not Tembi look at him he's in awe he's in awe aren't you I am mate this is brilliant this is this is beautiful can you just imagine how packed that beach is <laughs> yeah in yeah with the only two fools apart from maybe a handful of others that are currently yeah here. Yeah. Coming at this time, and there's it? some that'll come here and go. I'm going in that sea, regardless. <laughs> yeah, like we have seen on this yeah, trip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so do we take? Do we take the ramp down, or do we go down the ridiculously, Let's stupidly the steep well, steps? Steve would take the steps. I would take the steps. <laughs> <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? Yeah. Let's get down the quickest way. <laughs> yeah. But we're on leisurely pace on this trip, mate. We are, and it's Brendan's it's, yeah. leisure tour of Pembroke. Yeah, yeah. I've, you've turned the. I've had to turn the dial down, haven't you have, I? Yeah, yeah. Do it from 11, yeah. bring it down to 4. Bloody <laughs> hell, I'd be, gone in I'd be gone at 7 in the morning normally. <laughs> <laughs> I bet when you guys first watched the video of this series, of me and Steve traipsing through Welsh Pool, trying to get through the flood water, <laughs> the vans, you know, floating on top. But you never thought during this trip and these series of videos that we would see a view like this, a weather like that. The irony is it's two separate... Um, 
scenarios, isn't it? Where we're, we're uh, like you say. A massive contrast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's uh, pretty unbelievable, really, where we started. Yeah, absolutely. I can now. remember coming up and thinking, because we did have that thing, we're, are we actually going to be able to do this? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it become a challenge rather than Especially a... Especially when your van engine flooded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least I can say I flooded the engine now, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> haven't yeah. I? Well, there we go. We're about to step on the on on the beach, and this this is definitely brought in sand. I'm telling you now. You think? Yes, absolutely. This is left. I know my sandwich. minerals. Yeah, they 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 would what they do with this is they pump it in. They would literally go out to sea, scare with the bottom of the sea, bring yeah, it in, and, it. and literally yeah. pull it and just spray it on here. Because a, a beach without nice sand is not a beach. Because this is beautiful sand, isn't it? It is turquoise sea. is it the end of the South Wales trip and I'm just walking back to the van at Tenby we've got two different destinations mine's Telford and Brendan's is Shrewsbury so we'll just see what sort of direction it, it, it takes us both in um, but been a great trip great apart from the extortion at parking um, Tenby has not disappointed but we haven't been into the town centre or anything yet but you know these town centres are pretty dreary, these, um, these um, seaside sort of destinations. Anyway, so I don't think we're missing much. Anyway, I'm going back to the, the van now and uh, we'll make our way back to Telford.